Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're en route to a domestic call. It's going to be at a local hotel that is known for drugs and prostitution. And the husband's drunk, has been drinking, and apparently is either trying to leave or trying to keep her from leaving right now. So we'll see when we get there. Uh, and see what's going on, see if he's left, or we'll uh, deal with him when we get there. We're looking for a 97 White Tahoe. Oh, there she is. She come running out after him. Yep, there he is. That's a 9238. That's a This is the husband? This is the husband? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not her husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you call us on him? Mm -hmm. Okay. He done gave my keys to uh, somebody. Okay. That dude. Witness. That dude Somebody's going to jail. Here. No, your ass going to jail. That dude. Yeah. I said you got your hair burned. Tina, hey. was, whoa, whoa. You're going to jail. That's all right. I got the money to get out. I got the money to get out. He done took my keys. He okay. some to my truck. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay cool. right there. Cool. You got her? I got her if you want to get your cuffs. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Tina. Tina? Yeah. And who is this guy that you just hit? John, who lives in my house, who was had a in my yeah. truck. That's fine. That's fine. He's not your well, husband? No, he's, we've been together for seven years, and my I'm kids are not my I listen, ma'am. I was I'm on my own. I'm to do phone, phone books. I'm going to tell you what happened this morning, OK? He wasn't home to go to work. I was like, OK, I need my truck. I come over here, I ride up some J-Lo bitch was in the back of my truck, butt naked. My kids are at home by their damn self. He's out here. Take it to the car. She's yeah, yakking. My, yeah, my kids. They sure are my kids. They are my kids. Here's a witness when she when she just tried to run me over. Okay. They're both saying that you're a witness. I, I did witness it. Okay. The witness, the her hit. She was trying to run them over with that damn car. You see the skid marks right there. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So those are the skid marks. Yeah. Okay. So you were here sitting. I was sitting in the car, mm -hmm. trying to put my mirror on. Okay. And she came up, brought this truck back. Okay. And when she came up, she got into there was a white Cadillac parked there. She gave him the keys to the truck. This truck, the Tahoe? Yeah, this truck here. When okay. She, she gave him the keys to the truck. She got in the cat got in the Cadillac. Okay. And tried to run him over. The Tahoe was parked in he was getting in the Tahoe. So she, he was on the driver's side actually trying to get into right, the Tahoe. Right. And, and this she lady backed had, up trying to hit him. Hell yeah. Okay. Two times. Not once, twice. So she, she both went times. forward. Backed up and came back at twice. him. Twice. Okay. And that's the skid marks right there. You can see what she did. Okay. Do you mind if we get your name and information? Uh, you can, but I'm leaving here tomorrow. That's fine. Can you do a statement, then? If you can just do us a quick statement here. Sure. All your information there. Yeah, it's the only one I have. Um, she's upset, so just take her. You have to. I mean, with him saying this, so mm -hmm. we're going to take her. We got the, You may take pictures of the skid marks? Sure. OK, we'll take pictures of the skid marks there. Are there two skid marks or just that one set of skid marks? Both of those are hers. She the curve? Right. All both Just the of two hers. going straight back, or the other set going into it? All, all of those are hers. OK. One I'll take pictures of one like that. Okay. All of them are hers. Okay. OK. So we're going to get him with the written statement, and then we're going to go talk to her and get her side of the story and pull her out in, in the back, because she's in handcuffs and searched and patted down. Yep. So let's get her out, and let's get her side. And he's free to go? Yeah. I want to take some pictures, Teddy, OK? OK. OK, Tina, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shh, you don't tell the truth. They're going to keep me. me. They're not going to give me no bail if you don't tell the truth. That man said I tried to hit you. Tina, come here. Come here, please. Come back here. <laughs> they need their twine. I don't know. I know. Any other I, I know. Come over I here. I work for doctors. Where do you work at? Where work do you work? For... Turn, okay, turn right here. Look, I am Because I don't want them to be doing anything I, to you. I am not a bad person. OK, Listen. I don't think you're a bad person, OK? Look, I don't even go around these people, OK? I don't know these people. Yes, ma'am. OK, I come over here. 
my car was acting up. I'm thinking, okay, if he's not going to work, your I'm car being the Cadillac or yeah, which car? The Cadillac. It was okay. smoking all over the place. I'm like, well, since he's not going to work, I'm going to get my truck. I pull up on the side of my truck. Okay, what I did not expect to see him and some girl butt naked in the back of my truck. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even, you know, you guys see it caught. I didn't lose my composure. I was like, you know what, just get out of my truck now, please, because I don't want to have any drama. Just please get. Out. I need to get to work. So, I mean, I understand I slapped him. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll pay to get out. But mm -hmm. I did not try to hit him. Okay. Why, is, why are they telling us that you tried to because hit him Because some people over there don't even know me. He probably told him to tell you guys that because I hit him. And if he tell you the truth, if he knows they're going to keep me, he'll tell you the truth. They're trying okay. not to let Talk me to out, me. Sean. Is this the Cadillac, They're trying Tina? to get me for some crazy Tina. They're not going to let me out. They're going to keep Tina. me. Tina. Tina. Listen to me. Focus. How are we going to determine? Sean, can you please call We're him not, over here? Sean doesn't want to cooperate. Sean, please cooperate. They're going to keep me. You don't understand. They're trying to put some more charges on me. I'll take this early conduct, but I did not try to run you over. They're going to keep me. I, I already know. Well, then tell them the truth because these people are I telling did. them. What'd you tell them? They're saying you didn't cooperate. I smacked you, yes. Give me disorderly conduct, but I, they're going to try to get some other on me that I ain't did. They're going to keep me. Tell them the truth. Well, will you tell him the truth, please? I'm trying to say that never happened. Tell her, please, what, never because happens? that way I can get, get yeah. this early We got a total stranger. Out. I would never hurt him. My God, we've been together for seven years. Okay, but you were very emotionally upset. Yeah. How am I going to explain the fact that I've got a total stranger that's seen you hit him with the car? He tried or tried to, to hit him. tell you the truth. Sean knows. Okay. Sean, they're going to keep me. Will you tell him the truth? This man's over telling him they're going to keep me for more charges. Will you tell them? I would never try to hit him. Okay, somebody. Tina. <laughs> they gonna keep me safe, Sean. God. <laughs> Sean's not saying anything different, right? He's saying it didn't happen. This is the Cadillac that she used earlier, apparently, to uh, attempt to run him over, according to the witness. And the husband or boyfriend, whatever, was being uncooperative, which if he wouldn't have, he didn't want to cooperate, we wouldn't have prosecuted, but because of the witness, now she can go to jail. We're taking her to jail for the aggravated assault. She almost tried to run him over with the car, plus she hit him in front of the police. So, you know, she's got to go to jail tonight. Getting a little bit more of the story now. The PR saying that a 408 male came into the bedroom with a knife looking for her wife. Right now, officers are en route on a uh, a call of a male that had a knife, broke the the person reporting's uh, window, and uh, is armed right now with a uh, with some sort of knife. 72. What happened? His name is Jeb. I don't know his last name. Okay. He's here for his girlfriend to meet. Did you see him hit her or anything? No, or she, she wasn't here when he got here. He just busted in. Do you need any medical no, attention? You're all right. No, I'm fine. Okay, I just, what did I'm, he do to you? I got me by the man handled me pretty, pretty rough and put Grabbed a knife you by to the my neck. And, knife to your neck. And he said, if you think I'm joking, I'll take one stab to okay. show you that I'm not joking. And, and, you know, and then he pulled me by the hair and ordered me to the back door. All right, will you write a statement? Yes, sir. All sir. you know is his name is Jeff. That's it, that's it. Yes, so what's going on here today? I have no idea. Okay, who's Jeff? Jeff is my wife's, the guy that she lives with. Okay, where do they live at? Uh, some apartments up there up in Sierra and Sierra Vista and... Okay, so Jeff's going out with your wife? Yeah. Okay. Separate. And she came down here. Why are you with your wife now, then? If Because they're finding she came down here to get away from him. OK. Because you can see what kind of an idiot he is. Right. Where's he at right now? I have no idea. You have no idea? What kind of car does he drive? It's a blue four-door lamina. Is this your wife, Denise? Yeah, that's her. Going to a disco night or something? No, actually, <laughs> this, was, this was a bluff to try to get him to calm down and settle down. Came straight over here. You bluffed them in some leather pants? Well, they're not fake leather. Hush up, <laughs> You know. If you were a gambling person, where would you say you went? Home. Home? Yeah, you think so? I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I don't, I really don't. What know. number does he stay in? Does my partner have all that? Yes, sir. What number does he stay in? 330A. 330A? A. 330, okay. building A. Okay. We'll call you and let you know everything that happened and what he's going to be arrested for and everything else. We're on our way over to an apartment complex where uh, Denise told us 
where you'd be staying at. She said there's one of three places and this would be the one. She knows for 100% that this is where he lives and uh, believes that he's gonna be going back there. Let's see if we can see his car in the parking lot before we go walk up on him. Old Lumina with the temporary. Three John 34, go ahead and come up here. He's pulling up now. Control three John one, we'll be out on our uh, suspect vehicle. Oh, like you said, uh, hold off for two seconds. Okay. Show me your hands, driver. John one, go ahead and give us a red. Step out of the vehicle and face away from my voice. Step away. Turn around. Turn around. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Go down to your knees. Keep your hands out. Go all the way down to your face. Is your name Jeff? Go down to your belly. Is your name Jeff? Hello? Is your name Jeff? Yes, sir. Put the cigarette out. Put your hands out to the side. Put the cigarette out. Put your hands out to your side, palms up. Cross your ankles. Do you have any guns or knives on you I need to know about? No, sir. Is there any knives inside of that car I need to know about? I think I have a pocket knife, uh, probably on the floorboard, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Stay right there and don't move. Turn your head to the right. Uh, Other occupant in the car, come on out. Show me your hands. Come out the driver's door. Keep your hands up. Go ahead and step back here. Scoot over. Go down to your knees. Stop right there. Go down to your knees. Go ahead. No, you don't need to go all the way down. Put your interlace your hands on top of your head. Put down whatever you got. Don't move. Anything on you I need to know about? No, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, I'll explain everything. This has nothing to do with you right now, okay? But seeing how you're with this wonderful guy, Jeff, you're gonna be taken into custody for right now, okay? Is there anything in that car I need to know about? No, I'm not that. No, I don't Go ahead and stand on up. Oh. Ready? Like I said, I don't know what's going on. Go ahead and come on over here real quick. Go ahead and have a seat right there on the curb. There's a knife actually in plain view that's a fold up knife that looks kind of like the description that she gave us. Also got a burglary tool, which is a dent puller right there. Um, this is actually confirmed the same subject that was involved with us earlier. Um, same description of car, same everything. Um, when we started to give him commands, this is when he started to ditch the knife in the, in the floorboard right there. She's on her way over to do a one-on-one. -on -one. So the girl that you grabbed her hair today is on her way over here. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're under arrest for kidnapping, burglary, and assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah, she was positive. Right? Vicky didn't want to have too much to do with you. No offense, but she was just ready to be the, get the heck out of here, okay? She had nothing to do with anything. I know that. How did you break the window? No, all I did was push it. I just I pushed it. It broke, though, right? Yeah, it broke. Okay. It, it did okay. break. It, it, all I did and was push it. And then what happened? You climbed in over? Yeah. You grabbed Donna, right? I didn't grab her. I just... Pushed her? I wouldn't say pushed her. I... Just tell me what you did. I already know, no, she already no, no, told no. me. I went, I got in the room, okay, she was opening up the door, I came in, and she was like, what's wrong? And I said, I wanna know where David and Denise are, right, right. now. No. Right, so you said, I wanted, you put your arm around her because you didn't think she was telling the truth, right? So you put your arm around her to tell her, no. I wanna know where they are now. No. Why did you want to find Denise so bad? I just wanted my keys back to my apartment. I wanted the keys back to my car, and that's it. You're under arrest for kidnapping, burglary, and assault with a deadly weapon. Okay, we're heading to an unknown trouble call. Uh, it's a call that's, uh, the desk is categorized as unknown trouble. Step up from a 911 hangout. Uh, we've got a deputy who just went on scene. He's got uh, two subjects outside, and they're, uh, they have the station held for him, which means no other traffic on that station. And we'll be there shortly. 
Where in the house? I'm not quite sure, sir. What have you had today? What, have you taken any drugs or anything? I have had nothing, sir. Step out of the car for me. Come on. Come out here. Put your feet out here. Swing your feet sir, out here. Step out. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Put your feet out here. Stand up. I'm going to help you up. You going to stand up? Yes, sir. Well, okay, you come on. want me to if that is your to order? Stand up. Come on. Get out here. Come on. You don't have any ID in your back pocket? You might have some 67 on you. I yeah, have I didn't nothing. I feel any. I just pat him down the first time. I have nothing. What, uh, what have you been taking tonight? Nothing, sir. How come you're all going, you're all sweaty, you're going crazy, you're shaking? What's wrong? Just searching for the Lord. You're searching for the Lord? Oh, man. What did you take? Hey, what did you take? Nothing. We need to know okay, he's so amped. Look at his pupils. All tensed up. How much did you take? We're trying to help you. You want to die right here? How much did you take? Are you smoking glass? No, sir. Are you slamming? You're not slamming? No, sir. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. You're slamming, aren't you? No, sir. I'm just holding Lots straight work, still. Yeah. That is. What is Did you shoot up? He's been sir. slamming. Yeah, he shot up with something. No, sir. Hey, you got a mark on your arm where the needle was in. Hold her up a second. Come here, man. What's your name? What's your name? Hi, I'm Deputy Jones. How you doing? Hi, good. Thanks. You wanna, you wanna tell me what was going on with him? Um, I met him on a week ago Friday mm -hmm. at Roman's Oasis. Um, we we talked all week. You know, I was assuming he was going to work every day, and then today, he um he pulled out a bag, and I'm it's meth, and I did, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's meth. Yeah. I did some of it, but not a whole lot, and he didn't do. But you know, I don't know what he did before. And, that when you started, and about, like... yeah, and about, I would say not even an hour, he just snapped. I mean, this look in his eye was, I thought he was going to hurt me. So yeah. I got, you know, I left. He came with me because people were after him. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's scary. Yeah. Well, you and then he starts hey, talking ben, about the Book of Mormon and stuff, and I'm like, I got to go. A lot of times they have a religious experience. He's is on that the point. That's, his, his high right now is extreme. It just doesn't seem like he had a whole lot, you know? Just that one time, and yeah, he I'm might have so been sneaking stupid. back and doing more. And I suspect he did maybe go to the bathroom. He does did, go to the bathroom. Right? He did go to the bathroom. That's probably where we're going to find a syringe because I think he slammed something. Oh my! I have two jobs. I'm on, you know. You know those jobs go away once you start doing glass. Yes. Yeah, no, I won't start. Kids I'm, go away no, once you start doing glass no, too. I won't. That's what I've we uh, do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, All and right. that's why you won't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you won't need to see me anymore. Trust okay. me. Okay. Because right. I will you're okay. be around that. Me too. Thank you guys very much for showing you're up. Ready. You bet. You know. <laughs> Thank you for being here. What have you been back. taking tonight? You got to help me out there, partner. I have taken nothing, sir. When I pulled up to the house, there, he's standing up by that uh, kneeling there. next to the driver's side door of this truck here. He was kneeling? Yeah, holding this Bible in between his hands. You know? He's definitely high. Steve, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand you up and sit you down on this gurney here so they can take you to the hospital, OK? Sir. I'm going to take your handcuffs off of you. No, sir. Please leave them on, sir. I need to take them off so you can sit down on that gurney right there. They're going to go ahead and strap you down, though, OK? So you're not going to go anywhere, OK? Is he under arrest? Stand up, Steve. Stand up. 
Put your feet underneath you. Put your feet underneath you. I'm not gonna hold you up. Put your feet underneath you. I'll stand. Okay, there you go. Just like the man. There you go. Yes. Lord. Hey. My knees. Jesus is my savior. Come on, Steve. Hey, Steve. Do me a favor. Sit down on this gurney right here. Come on down, Steve. Come on. Walk on over here. There we go, Bob. Put your back right up against the back here. Swing your feet up there. That's okay. You don't have to say anything. Put your feet on up here. Let take care of you. Well, here you see the results of methamphetamine uh, use and abuse. A uh, gentleman is now finally admitted to uh, slamming methamphetamine, which is intravenously use of meth methamphetamine. Uh, he was snorting it, and he's completely out of hand. So what we're doing is we're sending him off with the uh, fire to be checked out at the hospital so his heart doesn't explode. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, 2514 can transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3. Thank you.